Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Evangelist Regina Barnett here telling you to speak life, speak a life, and speak the word of God. Whatever you speak happens, share this video to your family and friends. Let them know she is on again speaking life to us. And I know you hear the sound in the background. I don't own the right to the sound of the song. Just wanted you to know that before I move on. And we're moving on strong. We're going to Luke 145 this morning. It says, Blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. I want to encourage you. It is fifth Sunday. is usually the annual day for women in the church to speak. They just have an annual thing ever since I was a young girl. Remember that fifth Sundays, women, they would give women charge of the service. So today on this Speak Life, I want to talk to women, but men, you can listen in too, because this will help you also. We're speaking life on fifth Sunday. So it said, blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Father, bless us now in your word. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of the Lord, let all that hear start speaking life that you may change their lives forever. Speak through me, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're talking about speaking life. And he said, bless. Good morning to you. Anita Noble, blessings to you this morning. Thank you for always sharing, commenting, and listening, supporting also. That's the support. It gives you faith to keep going on when you see people continuing to watch. So Psalms, no, Luke 145, one of my favorite, favorite scriptures. He said, blessed is she that believed. She that believe. Do you know your walk with God is personal? Do you know your walk with God is personal? So somebody say, it's personal, my walk with God. And he's going to perform for you what he said he would do to you. I have not seen, nor ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of men, the things that the Lord has prepared for them that love him. So it hasn't entered into another man's heart what he told you. It hasn't entered to into another man's heart what he spoke to you. He's going to perform on your behalf. Right here in Luke 145, that's what it says. I'm going to give you another translation here. Just bear with me for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Go ahead and share and bring others in if you believe they should be speaking life too or hearing this video too. It says, you are blessed because you believe that the Lord will do what he said. You are say, I'm a blessed woman. If me and you're watching, you can say, I'm a blessed man. And he said, uh, I'm blessed because I believe what the Lord told me. Not what he told three, not he, what he told two, but what he told me. So I'm blessed. Forgive me for all my little sunshine. I just got excited. I saw that good morning twirling. So I got one right in my face, but you can hear me. Okay. Uh, so blessed is, I'm already blessed because I believe. I'm already blessed because I believe the Lord. And when I believe the Lord, I speak life. When I believe the Lord, I speak his word. When I believe the Lord, I rest in what he said because he's going to perform for me. He, he Here he said, blessed is she that believe. He made this, this scripture is personally to women, to women. But men can get it too. But this is person. He said, blessed is she who believe you already believe God. And this story comes from Luke. And it talks about Mary. It talks about uh, Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth and Zachariah, you know, Elizabeth couldn't have any children. They were older and uh, in the Lord. And then her husband was mouth was shut down until the blessing came. So that's what he said. Blessed. That's what I want to encourage you with today. And tell you to speak life in your life and say what he told me he's going to do. I don't care how long it's been, my friend. I don't care how long it's been, my sister. Let me tell you, the Lord will perform for you. He's going to perform exactly what you say. What not they say. Not what they say, but what you say. 
Okay, and then it says here, let's go on. I'm going to give you another translation of it, and then we be encouraged in the Lord. It says, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. What has the Lord spoken to you? Stick whatever the Lord has spoken to you. Stick with it. Stick with the word of God. Stick with his promises. Stick with the law. Stick with his precepts. Stick with it. Because whatever he said, that's exactly what he's going to do. And he's going to do that for you. Why? Because you believe him. You believe God, and he's going to do exactly what he said. You believe him. Say, I believe him. I believe him today. Herein, I want to read to you in Genesis 21. Listen to this. Chapter 1. And the Lord visits Sarah. Sarah, the, the Lord visit. Yes, the Lord visit. Sarah and the Lord did to Sarah like he said watch this chapter 21 of Genesis and the Lord visited Sarah and he had as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken he visits Sarah he will visit you Anita he will visit you, my sister, that's right there. He will visit you. He will perform for you exactly what he told you. Blessed is she that believes there shall be a performance of what he told you. Not two, not three, not four. It said this hasn't even entered into the heart of man what he's doing for you. For you. He came to you. He told you. Many in Ezekiel 37, it said me. So he said, the Lord carried me. The Lord said to me. The Lord told me to prophesy. The Lord told me. The Lord spoke to me. Won't you say that? The Lord is speaking to me. The Lord spoke to me. The Lord told me that he will perform for me. And he said, the Lord visit Sarah. Right there, put your name. The Lord visit Regina. The Lord visit Juanita. The Lord visit my sister that's on here. He visit them, performed to them exactly what he said. What has he said to you? That's exactly what he's going to do. I know it looks rough. It looks tough. It looks challenging. But he's going to do exactly what he said. And look at verse 2 of chapter 22 of Genesis. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken to him. And then right over here, I want to um, give you this also. In 1721, it says, hallelujah. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time next year. And I hear the Lord saying, your time is now. Your favor is now. Now remember Ruth and remember uh, it was Oprah and it was Ruth. Orpa and Ruth. And Ruth, uh, Oprah kissed Naomi and uh, Ruth cleaved to Naomi. Why I'm saying this because you don't just kiss the word and go with it, but you cleave to the word like Ruth did. She cleaved. She cleaved. She said, my God will be your God and all of this. And look at the blessing that she got following Naomi. Now, it was hard to follow Naomi because Naomi had become negative because of her situation. But through that negativity, through that neg, she followed a woman that was uh hurt. She followed a woman that didn't have anything anymore. She even told him that that's why you got to watch where you follow because the Lord wants to perform for you where you're going. You think uh, he wants to perform for you when you get somebody nice in your life, even a nice mother-in-law, a nice uh, aunt, a nice um, mother, whatever the case may be. But the Lord might have you following something that's hard. That's challenging, but that's not going to stop him from performing for you. Sarah was barren. If you go to chapter uh, 11 of Genesis, it says Sarah was barren. Then if you go to Luke 1, guess who else was barren? 
Elizabeth was barren, had nothing. It was that she couldn't have no baby, but it didn't. It started like that, but it didn't end up like that. Would somebody say right now, I started like this, but I'm not going to end up like this. Why? Because the Lord has you. The Lord has you in his hand and he's going to perform for you just like he performed for Sarah. Barren, but perform. She was empty, but he performed. Couldn't have no baby, but boy, she gave him a son in the old age. I'm saying, don't look at your age. Look at the word of God. Don't look at your age. Look at the word of God. Don't look at your age. Look at his laws, his precepts. Hallelujah. Look at the scriptures. Look at the Bible verses. Don't look at your age because nothing can stop the Lord. Nothing can stop the Lord. He's performing on your behalf. Well, I hope you're excited on this fifth Sunday. Hallelujah. I know a lot of you online, but if you can go into the house of the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you can go and get into the house of the Lord today, if you don't have a place of worship to go, just leave a detailed message and you're in the local Las Vegas area and I will let you know where you can go. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I just thank you today for being on here. It is Fifth Sunday. Hallelujah. A day that they use uh, as uh, in the church to uh, for women. For women. Not saying men can't go, but for women. So today, if you need a place to go, just let me know. And remember, the Lord is performing for you. Luke 145. And also go to chapter 21 of Genesis and read that first verse. He said he's doing exactly what he said. He's performing for you today. Well, if you been on here today. Bless your heart. May the, keep speaking life and may the Lord change your life forever. But if you're not a believer of Jesus Christ, what are you waiting on? Repent. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Get filled with that precious Holy Ghost. You're going to rise up and be a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. If you said that right now and you gave your life to the Lord, heaven rejoices over one soul that repents, one sinner that repents. So heaven is rejoicing over you this morning. One soul, one soul, heaven rejoices. So he's rejoicing with you today and we rejoice. You gave your life to the Lord. If you need more information on the salvation of Jesus Christ, leave a detailed comment. Y'all, I check my comments. I check them. So I can see if people need prayer, if they need a t-shirt, whatever they need. But number one, they want to give their lives to the Lord. So we celebrate with you today. Go and find you a Bible reading church, a Holy Ghost filled, baptized, speaking in tongues church. Find that. And if you can't, leave me a detailed message and I'll be sure to get back to you. Well, I'm excited. July 1st on the mic. You guys want to. I'm excited. I'm, I'm super glad you want to, let me say this to you. You want to follow me in July, speaking life. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Get your children. It's going to be fun. I might come over here with a, a, a pom pom or something like that. You never know what I'm going to do because I'm trying to get the word of the God to you and your family, your kids. It's fun speaking the word of God because he will change your life forever. It's fun praying. It's fun. It, you got to get there. You got to build that muscle. Hallelujah. You got to build it. Hallelujah. We got to get settled. Oh, we got to get settled in the word of God and we got to get settled in speaking life. Well, glad that you are all on here this morning. And guess what? Guess what? We got so much going on in July. Get excited for July. Well, that's going to be all, but I want to say this to you. Keep speaking life. Now say these words with me before I leave. Let the words of the Lord Jesus Christ keep shining bright and you keep speaking life because speaking life is speaking the word of God and whatever you speak happens until next time. Keep Yes, keep speaking life. Yeah. Yeah.
And you know I don't own the rights to the song. I just wanted you to know that before I go on. Speak away. Yeah, that was sisters. They own the rights to this song. Until next time, keep speaking life.